So now let's create our side menu. Inside this side menu.js file, I'm going to import some things from semantic UI React first. So we are going to import our list and icon. Also, we are going to import link from next slash link. Also, we are going to need our use router hook. So import use router from next slash router. And inside the function, we are going to first of all initialize our use router hook. And also we are going to need our is active function to give the user the indication that that page is active. So again, we are going to receive the route and router dot path name is equals to route. Just like we did in our nav bar. And inside the return, I'm going to wrap it into a parenthesis and remove this div right here. Now let's add fragments. So inside here, we're going to have a list. Its style is going to be padding top of one rem. Size is going to be big. Vertical align middle. And it is going to have a selection prop. So now inside this list, we are going to have a link. So href is going to be slash so for our home page. And it is going to be list dot item active again is active and we are going to pass in the home route. So slash and inside here we're going to have an icon name is going to be home. Size is going to be large. And color we are going to again use our is active. And if it returns true, we are going to set the color to teal. So only if the user is on home page, you can see right here, though only if the user is on home page, we are going to give this icon a color of teal. And after this, we are going to have a list dot content. And it is going to have a list dot header. And the content is going to be home. So I'm going to copy this right here, this link. And let's create another one for our messages. So here href is going to be slash messages and is active again slash messages and slash message. So inside our side menu, we are going to receive the user. So this user is basically the state of the user, the data which we are going to receive from the backend. So I'm going to destructure some properties out from this user state right here. I'm going to destructure out unread notification email, unread message and a username. So basically all these properties are which we, which we get from backend. And you can see right here, unread message and unread notification are booleans. So we are going to format the layout with these booleans. If there is any unread notification, we are going to show this icon and we are going to give it a color of orange. So on this icon name, we are going to have conditional rendering if 100 message is equals to true, we are going to show an icon of hand point right. Otherwise, we are going to show an icon of male outline. And also on the color, I'm going to wrap it this into parentheses. And we are going to add an or condition. Or if 100 message is equal to true, and we are going to show the color orange. And inside this content, we are going to have messages. So now I'm going to copy this one right here, this link, and we are going to create a, com a component for our notifications. So our ref is going to be notifications, href. In is active, I'm going to pass in the notifications. So if it is the notifications page, and here for the unread message, we are going to have it unread notification. And here again, on the icon name, unread notification. And for if there is no unread notification, we are going to have the icon of bell outline. And on the content, I'm going to change it back to notifications. So now I'm going to again copy this one right here. This is this one is going to be for our account. 
So a profile page and on the href we are going to have temple strings and inside here route is going to be slash and our username. So basically I'm going to have the route of the profile page as slash and say your username is Jane Doe and you can see right here if I go to the search here for some user and let's click it and whatever the username is we are going to redirect the user to that page so say you are using react router exact path your path would have been inside template strings slash and colon id and the component would have been maybe profile whatever you have so then in the component profile you would have to get the id with this match dot params dot id so it's the same thing and inside the active we are going to have router dot query dot username is equals to username so when the query dot username is equals to username i'm going to explain it when we work on the profile page i'm just going to copy this right here and paste it here and here the icon name is going to be user and content is going to be account and after this link right here we are going to have our logout button so list dot item it is going to have an on click and here we are going to create a function logout and inside this function we are going to pass in the email of the user and inside here there is an icon name is going to be logout and size is equals to large inside here again list dot content and list dot header content is going to be logo and let's import this function logo which we are going to create inside our auth user file from utils and auth user and it is going to be logout logout user so let's name it logout user and let's create this function right here inside our utils auth user so export const logout user we are going to receive the email so first of all i'm going to set a cookie dot set it is going to be user email and the value is going to be email and then i'm going to remove the cookie token which we set while we were logging in or sign up so token and then we are going to redirect the user to our login page so login and now i'm going to tell you why i set this why i passed in the email i set this cookie right here in our app deployed version you can see right here the email field is automatically filled in so for that i set this cookie right here now inside our login page i'm going to create a new use effect and it's going to be on mount so first of all i'm going to change the title of the document so document dot title it is going to be welcome back and also now we are going to check for the cookie so i'm going to import the package import cookie from js cookie so const user email is equals to cookie dot get user email make sure the spellings are right the name of the cookie right here so we are going to check if user email we are going to set the user previous and we are going to return an object from here so spread previous and the email is going to be this user email right here so it will automatically fill in the value so now let's save and check if it works and i'm also going to give in some space be uh, between these right here so after every link i'm going to add a break line
and you can see right here now it is looking much better so now let's click on logout the email field is filled automatically 